Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. If you found your way to this video, then this is your message, no matter when you stumble upon it. Now I do wanna go through a couple of things here before we dive in. We have a lot to talk about here. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings. These readings with me are only appropriate if you are ready to do that deep dive healing. You're ready to make real change in your life. If you're willing to do that, again, it's not for everybody, but if you're willing to do that, again, angelsouls444.com. And I do want to announce that I am doing several lives coming up. The first one will be on June 6th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and it will be all about raising frequency, true alignment, and setting intentions with the archangels. This is very, very, very important right now, especially, but in life in general, but with everything that's going on in the world, really imperative that we tap in and figure out what frequencies are we putting out into the collective and you know what are we putting ourselves through that might be really unnecessary all right so there's that and then I already on sale would be tickets for the four-part series it's an Archangel Connection Intensive which means there will be four sessions face to face with me and Angel Medium and we work together as a team and we connect into various archangels. So the first one will be Archangel Michael, second one Gabriel, then Raphael, and then Uriel. So those will be spaced out. Uh, the next one, the link is in the uh, description box, so you'll check that out. But uh, the first one for that series is June 13th. Of course, I do have a newsletter in my first chapter of my book up over at Substack link in the bio <laughs> or in the description box so check that out sign up for the newsletter you can sign up for free there's a paid option if you want to read more of the content but you can of course get in there and just get a taste of what the writing is and i'm going to be uh, really going hard on those newsletters so i don't have one up just yet but keep an eye on that but you can go in there and sign up and you'll be alerted when it's ready of course signing up for patreon for just a dollar a month gets you extra readings so check all that out description box i know it's a lot right of course there's gumroad too i have courses over there if you want to check that out <laughs> so having said all of that let's get in to the deep deep stuff here first of all if you hear that in the background i don't know what that is the wind started picking it may not pick up on my mic sometimes things don't but um the wind started picking up and there's this buzzing in the background it's not my mic it's outside and <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't control it. But, um, you know, coming into all of the events happening all over the world, of course, we had something extremely tragic happen here in the United States. Of course, my love, my love, my absolute love and whatever I can offer you to help you get through your grief to all those families, you know, please don't hesitate to reach out if you need support. And of course, if you guys can support too, I've put links up, you know, on, on my social media uh, platforms but I'm not going to get into any political debate of course but there is a huge message coming through this week that nothing is going to change until we take accountability for ourselves now this is going to hit up on a lot of people's egos and if you're in that egotistical place and you're angry when someone says hey we need to take care of how we function in this world we have to you know, take care of the frequency that we're putting out into the world. Yet again, that's what, what my personal readings offer. That's, and people don't get them half the time. They don't understand it because they come and expect a fortune telling type thing or just tell me what to do. And then when it's, no, you have to strip yourself of your personality, of the ego to go in and allow yourself to have some quantum healing, allow yourself to reset, change the biology of your body. And then allow things to fall into place as they will in accordance to your soul's contract. People don't get that. But if you come for a personal reading, that's what you're going to get. So if you're ready to do some real change, really ready to break through those obstacles, you come check that out. That's what the live on June 6th is going to be all about, breaking through those barriers. Why is this more important than ever? Again, because of the frequencies that are going out into the world. If we don't change the, the thinking patterns that have been passed down generation after generation after generation, this idea of lack, this idea of not being lovable, um, this idea that it's somehow good to have a personality disorder. I mean, if you think I, I don't know what I'm talking about, just look at the world. Who gets put on a pedestal? 
the ones that come out and, and claim that they be belong there, that they deserve it, right? So people can come out with all of their uh, distortion ideas, all of uh, the things that are getting fed to us. People have a lot of paranoia around some of the things that are going on in the world. And, you know, they, they're out there trying to expose, okay, thanks for the information, but you're coming from a place of resentment, again, paranoia, distrust, that's a low frequency. You're putting that out into the world. So when we get reset, when we are changing ourselves on every level through meditation and allowing that process to take place, letting go of expectations, letting go of anything that says I'm not worthy until X, Y, and Z happens. When we really start to put things in perspective and start realizing what the real priorities are. It's not having your face in a phone. I'm getting this up later than usual and I feel really good about it. I really do. I needed to <laughs> put everything away, regroup. You know, it's, it's been tumultuous for everybody. So it's time for us to start really going within and seeing, you know, where do we have judgments? Where do we, where are we conniving? Where are we manipulative? Where do we play victim? Where are we blaming everybody? Everybody else is to blame for our problems. Where are we doing that? Now, I don't know one human being who hasn't done that. <laughs> right? so, I mean, we all have to stop and, and change what's going on here. We also need outward action, of course, helping the families. I got to watch what I say here. Um, helping anybody who's going through something um, devastating or catastrophic. Showing up, holding space, doing what we can. We can't mess around anymore. I don't know how else to put it. It's disheartening and scary to know that we're tumbling down this road and all of us keep missing the point here. Spirituality and spiritual practice is not meant to give you a little hit of inspiration so you feel better. All of your pain and all your problems, those are road signs to where you need to go. Now you might say, what are you saying? Go into the pain? Depends on where you are and what your specific situation is and if you can handle going into that pain. But for example, if you attract in the same kind of love partner and you don't understand why they're never healthy, well, there you go. There's the road sign, right? It's showing you what to look at. This is the direction you need to go in. Maybe that direction is you learning whatever pattern you have, whether it's codependency, whether you're somebody who has a personality disorder and you think you deserve to be on a pedestal and you can't understand why people just don't worship you. I mean, why wouldn't they want to worship you? You're, you're so blah, 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 because you've conditioned yourself from some childhood pain that you somehow deserve more than anybody else. Or you're the codependent person who used to get abused if you didn't please people. And so you're doing that game or what have you. Okay, we could put in a lot of different examples here. But when we strip all that away and we say, you know what, I got to be honest with myself. I do put pressure outside of me, whether that is on my spouse, you know, getting, taking all my irritations out on my spouse or being so insecure about myself that I put all this pressure on my love partner to look a certain way. So I feel better about me. Again, there are so many things that we as humans keep doing <laughs> And we have our own individual energy and then we have a collective energy. So when that energy, the self-hatred or the self-pity or uh, just fear, doubt, not trusting yourself, not trusting your intuition, not trusting your instincts, when all that is going on, you're pinging that out in a more practical sense. Again, I got to watch what I'm saying here. The people who sold the things to the guy... We saw the photo, dead-eyed. If we were a little more in tune with our instincts, not in the sense of we're going to social police, 
okay? Because that's what we've been seeing. Everybody's just so self-righteous and trying to police one another. That's not what we're talking about here. But this thing of understanding humans, fellow humans enough, having empathy, being able to pick up and realize, hey, something's not right here. And not just go, not my problem. Not that that's what those people did. I have no idea. But, you know, with the happenings of the past week, which is just about, you know, besides certain things that are happening in other parts of the world, that's about as horrific as it gets. And, I, you know, I, I want to be careful with what I say here because I don't want people jumping to conclusions. See, this is what we do as well as humans. But I started remembering just weird things where I was in a subway station. I think I've told this story before in past videos. I was in a subway station. This woman punched me from behind in the shoulder. And when I turned around, she punched me again. And I didn't understand what was going on. And I literally had to get her off of me. And then once I, in self-defense, because she started coming at me a third time, this time aiming for my face, when I shoved her back, she started screaming and hollering. And all while this is going on, everyone is just going by and not doing a thing. Not doing a thing. That woman had to charge up behind me. Now, nobody knew what she was going to do. They didn't know if she was just going to punch. Not very hard even. <laughs> but I had stitches in my shoulder at the time, so that smarted. But, you know, they had no idea what she was going to do, and nobody stopped her. Nobody stopped her. And some people only got involved when she started yelling. That's a whole other thing. I thought of another example where I was actually getting assaulted in the workplace. Literally getting assaulted in the workplace. I was trapped there um, by someone didn't think I was going to be able to get away. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone come to the door and go right back out. And I remember my heart breaking because there was like a fraction of a second. I thought oh, someone's going to help. And then they left. It was a horrifying feeling. Seconds later, one of my coworkers came charging in and she's angry. And I thought she was angry because this guy was doing this. And that's not why she was angry. She continued to take shots at me to try to humiliate me in front of other people and another coworker just laughed it off. I'm giving these examples because we can't sit around and point the finger and go, isn't that just so horrible, that thing that's happening over there? This is so nuanced. People say, no, it's simple. It's not simple. It's incredibly nuanced. And it has to do with our wiring, like our reactions to things, how we're so in our own world, we don't see what's going on with other people. And then when we do try to do something, our instincts are so off when it comes to other humans and human behavior that we may be standing up for the wrong person. Maybe that person didn't even start it. Or... I have another example. There was a, a boy in a grocery store. His mother called him a curse word. He wasn't even doing anything. Poor kid. And you could just tell. Like, I, I understand that look really well, that he was somebody who was beat down. I really wanted to go tell the mother off. I really did. But, you know, I mean, you got to be careful with that. Anytime I've seen anybody who's doing something crazy, you know, like being a jerk, if they've got kids with them, you don't want them taking it out on the kids. And the only thing I could think to do was to, you know, like whisper like, hey, you know, don't listen to her. You know, don't, don't take that in. That's not, that's not your problem. That's not, your, that's not true about you. So again, we have to be careful. And it's amazing how none of us have very good instincts about that. And that is why if you're going to come down the road of spirituality. Know you're going to make mistakes. It's not about you. It's not about you being happy. It's about us being one and pulling our weight and doing our part. And that's why we bring peace into our own lives. Yeah, it might help you in your own existence, it might help you be more abundant and prosperous might have you connecting with a love partner. It can't be every man for himself. 
because every man is us. When we see things out in the world, that means we're not pulling our weight. We're not showing up. We're not doing enough. Please comment down below. I want to hear what you have to say. Please give thought to what you are saying. Uh, unfortunately, what we see a lot in social media, first of all, I never knew the general public was so stinking funny. Like, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's so funny. But, um, you know, I, I see a lot of um, self-righteousness or trying to school one another or um, victimhood. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired? I'm tired. I'm tired of people staying on the surface. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I can't, I can't even tell you how many beautiful YouTubers I have come across and they have 23,000 subscribers. And they're insightful. They're so helpful. Um, they're saying important things. They're not just regurgitating the same inspirational whatever, whatever is every day. Spiritual tropes. They're not out there just giving fortune telling readings so you can get your little hit of excitement and have to come back tomorrow. So you get addicted to it. There are people out there talking about social media. People are like, oh, yeah, it's because they don't have a fancy background. Uh, I gave up on that. <laughs> No. Or they'll say, well, it's because they're not doing the SEO or they're not doing, you know, the right this or the right that. Blah, 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 blah. It's because of us. It's because that's where we're at. We'll turn off somebody who's saying something real. We won't read a book that has a deep message. We want it simplistic. We want it fast. Instant gratification. Just give me my hit so I can keep it moving. How is that working for us? Let me grab some cards here. The Empress. So we got to come into this mothering. This is the mother. Think about all the, well, all the fathers too. Of course, of course. Mothers and fathers. But this nurturance, Archangel Gabriel. Communication. The Gabriel energy with Archangel Michael energy is hitting really deep with the truth and it says time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded luxurious or abundant resources again if you want to keep it surface level and unfortunately a lot of people do then you're going to miss it you're going to miss it you've been hearing about how the awakening is coming the awakening is coming and we didn't know that we went through the awakening until we got through it and looked back. <laughs> and then we turned back to the present moment and we're realizing, oh, shoot, we're still in it. <laughs> like, oh, man. Please don't be shallow. Please don't. Stop it. We're getting slightly better. I think it's very promising to see different forms of beauty being represented. I like that. At first, it was, oh, these companies are just trying to make more money off of an untapped group of people. Let's be honest. That's what really happened. But where did that come from? It was really driven by people, a lot of them younger people. Thank you. <laughs> younger people who said, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I'm not going to hide my body because someone says it's not good enough. I'm not going to alter my body because someone says it's not good enough. Natural is beautiful. Right? Now, if there are things about you that you have had plastic surgery or whatever, that's cool. Like, it's whatever you want, whatever is good for you. But make sure it's good for you. It's not because someone says you're not good enough, you need to change. The world. Here it is. What I say? This is Archangel Michael, and this is Gabriel. Here they are together. Oh, 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 okay. I knew I was going to drop it. Hold on. <laughs> I tried. I tried to <laughs> catch it before it fell. All right. This is a very happy ending coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. What this tells me is that, and I want to tell you, we need to be the nurturing force in this world. Okay. We are too self-centered. We, you know, I'm one of the most independent people 
you will ever ever come across. But I know that I'm on this planet with other people. And I know that if I go out just wherever, okay, to the grocery store, I know there are risks in walking in there. I know that someone who looks like they're kind of nasty, you know, you know me, I'm like, ew, like what an attitude. <laughs> but, you know, not to kiss up to them, but try to show some level kindness. Again, not people pleasing, but some level kindness, you know, and um, who knows, maybe that could really start, I feel like we could bring about change when we stop being so self-centered. I said it before, the self-preservation mode is broken. Why do we honor narcissists? Why are we enabling them? Why are they running the companies? Why are they, uh, like, someone comes out and says, I'm special. <laughs> My birthday is a holiday. And we say, okay. <laughs> I'm staying home. I no, thank you. I don't. I don't want anything to do with that. But we we have a duty here to the world, and we need. I'm sorry. We got. The, we need to start thinking of others. We need to get our empathy back. And 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 cutting off the supply to people who don't care about others. If you do not think that evil exists in this world, if you're gonna sit there and be one of those fake spiritual people who says, oh my God, because you said that, that makes you not spiritual. What do you think happens when someone can't access the light or won't access the light? What do you think happens? They're not powerful, they're empty. They're empty vessels. Zombie apocalypse is here. It's been here. <laughs> They're eating our brains, okay? <laughs> Sorry, kids. Sorry. I, I hope nobody, no kids are watching. But this is funny that this card is coming out. Four of Ariel. When you give, you also receive. Okay. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. Yeah, fine. But this is... <laughs> the reason why I think this came out, again, this is like hanging on too tightly to our personalities, to our ego beliefs, to what we think should be, to being right. I'm not paid enough to do X, Y, and Z. I don't want the hassle of getting involved. And then you got the other people who are going completely too far the other direction of always getting involved. I, I'm fearful of being that person. I have fear, yes. Um, and I gotta work on it because I live in an apartment complex and there have been times where, I think I've told you guys, like fights have broken out or people are just like, ugh, like something's off, <laughs> something's weird. I don't feel good about that. And so I'll, we have a security system here. So I call them like, hey, um, I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but people are punching each other on the lawn. <laughs> You want to look into that? I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, there's always, for me, there's always that, I, I get it. I get people not getting involved, right? Because you don't want to be labeled as the person who's just always making something out of nothing. And yet, we shouldn't be afraid to report things or stop someone who seems a little whatever. Um, anyway, Eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So again, here's this thing. Again, there are the traditional meanings of these cards. Take those. I mean, if you, especially if you do tarot readings, you know what these cards mean for you. Um, but for everybody who's tapping into this, this is having your energies scattered. This is exactly what we're talking about. We got, you know, like our faces in our phones. I do that too. I do it too. Are you kidding me? I'm on my phone all the time answering emails, whatever, someone, you know, some snap, this always happens during Mercury retrograde where people are, start having problems with the security part of getting their, um, their readings. <laughs> I'm just used to it. It's Mercury retrograde, whatever. Um, but this is having your focus going in too many different directions. This might be excessive materialism. I don't know about y'all. But with everything in this world and all the stuff we've experienced over the past couple of years, 
I went from going, I just want to achieve and succeed. And I just want to, you know, one day when it's time for me to cross over, I, I want to be patted on the back by God and have God or whoever's going to meet me there be like, good job. Okay, cool. You helped as many people as you could. Good job. But the energy I had behind that was very 3D. Let me strategize. Where can I have reach? Well, social media is a thing. <laughs> Let's try social media, right? Or doing that or, you know, really trying to always, whatever I feel coming through, I feel like I got to constantly put it out there. And I started going, okay, it ain't that serious. I don't have to post every Saturday. If you're tired, take a day. I took a day. I took a day and a half. Okay. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to, you know, settle in for the evening, do some reading. I love reading. Okay. I'm going to do some reading and then I'm going to start fresh tomorrow, get some more personal reading stuff. I'm still running way ahead. Well, not way ahead. Well, let me think about that. Hold on. Famous last words. I didn't check before I started recording. I want to say I'm two weeks ahead. Now, listen, that means most people are getting them within seven to 10 days. Now, listen, if you go in, <laughs> you try to get a reading. I don't know how many people are going to come in all at the same time. Okay. It's like lining up at the donut shop. Yeah. Okay. We're open. Got fresh donuts. If 30 people come in line and you're standing at the end of the line of 30 people going, when am I going to get my donut? Where's my donut? You shush. You came two hours after opening. You want your donut. You're going to have to wait. Okay. <laughs> Same thing with personal readings. That's why I can't ever give like an actual guarantee. I'm also a 45 year old woman who I don't even know what's going on with my physicality. Okay. But things are funky, weird. Like I wake up and I feel foggy or I get a migraine. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm hormonal. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. So some days I just, I might wake up with a migraine. And I just can't. Or some days I'm burned out, okay? And then I'm going to go out and enjoy the fresh air because I just need to recharge my batteries. So just, that was a long way of telling you. Try to be patient, okay? How many cards did we pull of that deck? I think that's good. So we got to be good. Got to be good. We got to be uh, more cautious about where we're putting our energy. You know, there is such a thing as social narcissism. <sighs> Can we stop? Okay, when people put... I'm not talking about people who've really been through something serious. I'm talking, like, I don't know. I got a splinter and someone's like at the hospital with like their hospital gown. And they're like the sympathy photo. Ignore those. Ignore those. Or people who are, you know, leaving weird comments about, I need more help, but it's the simplest thing in life. And if they just pay attention, like, They'll know, but they just want everyone to wait on them hand and foot. Ignore those. Please ignore those. I dropped more cards. Hold on. There was just one. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. This is the kind of stuff we need to wake up to and stop. Stop giving in to people who, you know, are just constantly pulling on our energy. There are a lot of people out there who want to shut us down. I know, here we go. <laughs> now I sound paranoid, but there's, there is this societal weird thing going on where it's like, as soon as someone starts to be happy, I was talking about um, changing goals. Uh, you know, as soon as you're not so materialistic, as soon as you're like, you know what, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to give myself a pedicure or take a nice bath or I'm just, you know, going to read or whatever. And people are like, oh my gosh, you're so boring. Or, oh my gosh, like you need to be doing this. Or, you know what? At this point, I would just be happy being able to pay my bills, have a nice stable home that's beautiful. I, I like beautiful things. So, especially in my home. I missed my calling as an interior designer, I think. Well, I didn't miss my calling. I think it's interesting. I'm not good at it. <laughs> but I would really have fun working with an interior designer. But, you know, like all those kinds of things, as long as I have that stability and I have good connections with other people, that's all that matters. And I really, man, my reality check was just because you're on social media doesn't mean you have to join the popularity contest. I hate that. I hate it so much. You guys, I don't, ooh, hate, see, low frequency. I got to watch it. Okay. So, you know, but for me, I realized, okay, I just, I'm not going to judge my success based on, you know, how many subscribers I have. By the way, that doesn't even matter. 
it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it's uh, more about how, how engaged your audience is. So if you have like uh, a few thousand people that actually care about what you're doing and they hang around, they support you in other ways, that's what matters, right? So we have all these unhealthy dynamics here. This is what this card is saying. But we're, we're, we're tuned out from it. I remember a woman who went around to people who were, they had put in, they had, they had put in, they had put in their toys and Christmas gifts on layaway. And this woman comes in and she's paying off everybody's layaways. And when the people didn't want to be on camera, she was like, oh my God, like I just paid off, like you're making me look bad. I just paid for you and now you're not going to, you're going to come on camera and give your gratitude to me. You know, or people who the only time you ever see them doing something good is on social media. Just saying. Okay, <laughs> Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? See, we, we all have to do this. It's a societal problem. It's a societal problem. We have broken empathy. We have broken instincts. If we don't heal ourselves, we can't help other people heal. And if other people aren't healing, more and more things are going to start unleashing. It's going to get worse if, unless we do this for ourselves now. That's what we can do. And, of course, the outward action of supporting families that have been through horrible things and, um, you know, whatever else we want to put in there. So thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Those healthy changes have to come around awareness. All right. And I'm not saying, again, go out and start policing everybody. Again, that's a self-righteous thing. But... We have to create a different reality. And you know, you know, there's a way of doing that. Again, the, the, the healing, the quantum aspects of that. You go into your higher consciousness. People are always telling or asking me, you know, can I change my soul's contract? And it depends on the person who's asking, <laughs> right? Um, if they're not going to wrap their head around, you know, becoming nothing, and coming back in and being present and loving what is and if they're if they're gonna put all kinds of silly labels on that they're just gonna cause trouble my whole thing is to try to show up in the way that I can for each person so often I don't even bother to go down that road with some people because they're just gonna be like you didn't answer my question or you didn't give me a good reading or you didn't <laughs> you know so I'll just kind of you know, give them whatever, because I tune into their energy too, so I'll, I'll give them whatever might be the most helpful for wherever they're at. And I get that guidance through their guides and angels. Okay? So wherever you are is fine, but still keep it moving. Keep ascending. Okay? Do, do your breakthrough moments wherever you are. But we have to get to that place. We created this script. We, we need to change it. Okay. Guarded and protected. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we are safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. So again, if we get out of our own way, when we say get out of our own way, it means get out of our ego. Get out of our ego. I mean, if we could just be happy, can you imagine just being with a love partner and, you know, there are no games, no manipulation, no pressure to be something other than you are or to, um, the thing I hear constantly is where social media is not doing so hot, but um, people posting like, stop being so independent around men, saying this to women, straight women. Um, stop being so independent around them. <laughs> Did you miss my face? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? We're supposed to dim our lights so you feel more powerful. I, I got no words. But anyway, can you imagine just being in a peaceful, loving connection and not feeling, oh my gosh, I have to watch my love partner's every move because I don't feel safe. That's another thing that's been treated as normal. Oh, he cheats. <laughs> that's just him. You know how men are. Boys will be boys. Well, 
she drives me nuts. She goes to my phone. She shows up my work, up at my work to make sure that I'm at work. That's not normal. No. Nobody should be, your girlfriend shouldn't be stalking you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, again, if you're being a jerk, I left my cards over here. <laughs> We're friends, right? Hello. It's me. Uh, I got to put my microphone back. Okay. Hello, we're back. Yeah, so why are we accepting terrible behavior? I'll tell you exactly why. I'm thinking of another example. There was a woman, she was terrified of her boyfriend. Now, those kinds of relationships are very tricky. Of course, you know, you have to be very careful. She was terrified of him. And then the guy broke up with her. And we're like, we, yay, oh, you're free. <laughs> and she sat around going, I love him. I love him so much. And I don't doubt that she did. You know, she had an attachment to him. But at some point, it started just the way she was talking. I'm not going to go too far into it. But the way she was talking, she liked the danger. She got a charge out of it. That's her. That's not everybody, okay? But she wanted to win him back. Again, she probably had some other things going on, attachments and whatever. But um, no children together. There was none of that. She liked her bad boy. And even me using the term bad boy kind of makes it sound cute, right? Like, like it's not. <laughs> it's not cute at all. Yep. I feel like we had this recently. Brown, established boundaries. The number is 12. For us to get into our sacred space, to take our spirituality seriously, not as something that's a parlor trick, not as something that is just there to help us manifest whatever it is that we think we want, but really allowing ourselves to start over, regroup from a soul level. What is it that you need to accomplish? Nope. Nope. Being the best human being you can be. I know. A lot of you just went through to be an author, to be a singer, to be an executive, to be a spiritual practitioner, to use my gifts to help the world. Nope. That's just something to keep you busy. We need to wake up every day, find a way to be happy, to love ourselves to feel peace within us. And if we don't feel it, we figure out a way through our pain. Again, that, that's, that's the, the road, the road signs getting you to what you need to understand about yourself and leave room for new growth without expectation. I had to come to a place where I'm like, you know, one day when it's time for me to cross over, Instead of getting patted on the back <laughs> and getting accolades by the other side. Like, seriously, this is how, like, like my brain was working. Like, I'm going to get accolades on the other side because I, I did my work. I showed up and I was a good human being. None of that matters. None of that matters. 90% of these messages that I give won't land at all. <laughs> like, you know, they won't feel anything or they'll uh, twist it into something else or whatever. I'm going to get up every day, work through my stuff, find a reason to be happy, find a reason to tap into love, and just show up as the best human I can be, knowing I'm connected to every other human being on this planet. Knowing that if I don't, I'm just throwing more kindling into the fire. And the world does not need that. Leave your comments down below. Again, if you want to come and have a session in the way that I do them, angelsouls444.com. Do not sign up for a personal reading unless you are ready to step up, to do your part as a human being, to have your breakthroughs, maybe to understand what some of those signs are, to break through that. Still have, like I said, the, the lives coming up. So you still have that option. And if you're seeing this video after June of 2022, that's okay. They're replays. Okay. You can always check it out. There's always a way to keep 
to keep working towards that humanness and seeing what the potentials are there because it's time for that. We need to unlock these other potentials. Let's leave it there. I'm sending you my love. Take care.